Hey guys, it's Wayland, aka the Shadow Master here, and I'm just I'm going to show you how one of my Minecraft inventions can be incorporated into a real survival situation. All right, as you can see over here, we have this cow on a fence. Now, this cow on a fence has it's a failed project. What we're really looking at is the bioreactor and the biofuel generator in this hardened energy cell. Alright, so it's got 40, 412,925 RF. Alright, but if we turn these couple of flowers into dye and toss it in here, you'll see it, it'll do that. Is this thing breaking? See, it's got a little bit of biofuel in here. And that's making this go up pretty fast. Bad thing is, you don't get too much biofuel at a time. Which is why I built the seed machine. I did a video on this a long time ago, and... You know, I don't think I had too many views on it, but, you know, this is how it, it looks whenever you put it in the survival world. It's just eight grass blocks, and no, I didn't go into creative and cheat this in. I actually built it legit. To get the grass blocks up there, I used the uh, extra utilities watering can. LSU. Oh, excuse me, it's uh, only 11 a.m., but... I use a watering can in order to speed up the random tick rate and turn the grass blocks, I mean the dirt blocks, right back into grass. Alright, and if we flip this lever, it'll start this little pulser. You'll see it's actually going so fast that sometimes the pistons disappear and sometimes the blocks disappear. Now, I put a couple of stacks of bone meal in there. I don't quite have nine. I had like three and a half or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this run. As you can see, we're getting tons of flowers. You know, it works better in, like, 1.7 because you get the mo more variety of flowers. You know, if you're ever low on wheat seeds, this is another good way that you can do it. I know there's tons of ways that you can do this a lot faster and easier. Okay, that's empty. Alright. Actually getting a pretty good number of drops. See, 40 yellow flowers, that's almost two stacks of dye that we can put in here and I don't know if you can put regular seeds in there if you can then then we could be set you can you can put regular seeds in here so that means I can come over here grab a couple of stacks of seeds and toss it in there now this thing's got quite a bit and we're still charging this energy cell I don't remember what I'm charging this for I really don't yeah guys uh, I made a little improvement I think I I don't know I don't know if I did this in my last video but I made a bunch of drives I got these two 16k's you know, this one's not quite full, but you can't put anything, any other types on it. Same as this one, that's why this, it's got only 129 bytes, but 4 of 63. And then we've still got 5, no, 7 more that don't have anything on them. Even these 1K drives can hold 63 different types of items. And... I've just been waiting till I get a whole bunch of starters quartz. Like now, I have like 65, and we can start upgrading things slowly. 
Like, I think I'll start with... See, I can... The only reason I'm not doing any... Let's see. I, see, I only have one diamond. That's why I hooked up the big quarry. But... I think last episode I talked about some bugs that were in the pack where, where it wanted to keep crashing after so long. Well I fixed that problem, it's uh, I believe it was Rotary Craft doing it or Twilight Force, I don't know but as you can see the Twilight Force portal is gone, you know I'm going to keep the little pull here just in case if I decide to add it back or something. You know, I only really get lag whenever I'm loading up new chunks or when I'm recording. And I also added something over here to my processor. I added this tank, which I fill with lava, that's going into this igneous exterior to make me some obsidian. And it's doing pretty well. I need to go mining in another again. I need to hurry up and get a quarry plus on the line, but that takes a really long time to get done, and it takes a ton of power and a lot of resources. Alright, so you know, I got over 200 uh, obsidian, so we're doing pretty good on that. Um, I've got plenty of iron I've got 300 I've got almost a thousand copper actually so I don't know if I'll have, actually need to do any of that in fact the only thing I'm really worried about running out of is Sirtis Quartz a uh, ton of redstone I got some Envar got a little bit of glowstone there's some Sirtis Quartz dust but I want to keep the, that dust Hmm. I need to make some more electrum. That's just gold and silver. I've got 140 silver. So what I can do is I can go ahead and make a stack of... Well, while I'm here, I can go ahead and make a stack of electrum. We just toss that in there. Alright. There's also something else I hooked up. I found a skeleton spawner, so I grabbed it with the diamond dolly. It's just a dolly with three diamonds under it. And to make a dolly, it's five iron and one plank, I believe. You know, the spawner is not really dark in there, and so I need to like make some blackout curtains and put right here and put them all right here. Yeah, right here is why there's a bunch of light. So as you can see, that made it a lot darker in here. I actually sped this up a little bit. Alright. Well guys, I really don't know what else we can talk about. Uh, I guess I could show you the quarry. It's making decent progress. Now, it's been going for almost a week, a week, real lifetime. See, I've got three stacks of coal. Stack of iron there. Another stack of coal. Part of another stack of coal. Got a bunch of copper coming in which is pretty cool and as you can see these water sources are in that corner and that corner and they've only got this little bit of area where they haven't hit but 
Yeah, but as you guys can see, these things take quite a while to do. Like, here, I'll show you. If I can get on here. See, it started at layer 70. It's on layer 58. And it's been going for like a week. <laughs> but these things, they take time. But they're worth it. They take time and quite a bit of an investment, but I say it's worth it. You guys, uh, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to talk about this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's anything you want me to try to set up, you know, leave it in the comments. Uh, send me a video response. Send me a message. You know, I need you, your guys' opinions so that I know what, what I can do. Alright guys, goodbye.